Going back to what you were talking about, I was fascinated last year. I watched an Alex Gibbs tutorial at the University of Florida. And I was going to watch about 15 minutes. I was, I was trying to learn more about the zone blocking, what was the success of it. And he spoke for an hour and 20 minutes, and I sat there riveted yeah. <laughs> about there was nobody that knew more about it. But what he was talking about, and I wonder how fascinating you found it when you listened to him, but what he was talking about is the, the, the offensive linemen that are away from the, where the ball runs are the, really the key because they've got to seal off the backside because mm -hmm. that's where the cut's going to go to. Is that, am I making sense? I mean, yeah, it, yeah, the, that's, the, that's why it's so critical. That's uh, a lot of defensive players would classify Denver back, back then dirty, as dirty, right? Dirty. The and, chop uh, and the, the Yeah, the, the chop block's different than a cut. Chop block is, is something that you're, you're trying to hurt someone. Someone's holding like, a guy up and someone's coming to take his knees out. Cut blocking, everybody should be expected to get cut blocked if you're playing Denver. Because that's what, that's what gives you the seal on the back side. So you're going to cut a three technique, cut a, a backer at the second level. Um, but yeah, you're right. That's, we, you get them running, and if they're going to keep stretching, if you can get that seam, and it, it seems like it's a backside, but everybody's running with you. So it's really where the back started out. It's, it's not like he's cutting all the way back, putting his foot in the ground and going out the back door. But you brought up a great point that I, in talking to Chad Brown, who's been here, he said, you just did, hated to play against defense, yeah. uh, the Broncos offensive line, because you knew you were going to get blocked from the side and you never knew where really where it was coming from. Yeah. So it was that fear factor almost. Did, did That's you what see you them? want. That's what you want, because then if they're worried about you cutting them, they're not trying to penetrate because that's an easier cut and they're trying to protect themselves and they're going to run laterally. Do you think the Broncos have the running backs now to take advantage yeah. of this new zone blocking I, I, scheme? CJ's going to be great in this. Um, uh, Jawan, he, I saw some good stuff out Nobody of him. Nobody talks about him. Yeah. He's in, every time we see him, he looks impressive to us. Yeah, I, and I, I didn't see him a ton, obviously, just preseason last year and then some spell in here in the games last year. But uh, I think he's a he's a good and, – and Monte, man, he – I don't think he gets enough credit either. He, he, got, he got injured and people want to say you're prone to injury. He had, he had a year where he had a couple bad injuries. So I'm um, sure people would say that about me at the end of my career. He's prone to injury. But, I mean, really one bad injury and it just never got uh, – Oh, sure, uh, how many how many years for CJ or how many yards for CJ? Golly, he's gonna go over twelve hundred for yeah. sure. Yeah. The two things you just brought up, but CJ, every time I look at him, he gets low so low when he yeah, once he gets into it. I mean, he's already got a low center of gravity, but he really gets. He's almost like a bowling ball. And Adam Gase told me last year that you can't really tackle him around no. the thighs because he can escape that. So it's difficult, me, if I were playing def, uh, defense against him, to try and figure out where to, where to hit him, which I think also makes him successful. Or where he is because he's so small. Is he hard to find? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a stocky guy, and you're right. Don't you, it's hard to get low on him because I mean, he, can, he can bend too, so his, his pads are about at his, his thigh level. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, I, why, his rookie year watching him, I think we were out in uh, San Francisco, and you could just tell that this guy, he had it. He was, he was a guy who contact in the backfield, he's still getting a yard or two. And he's breaking tackles, not, you know, not going to blaze down the field, but he's deceptive too.